So for today, we're going to be looking at the Titans. More specifically, we're going to be looking at the mecha sets that I made from the actual mecha armor from last year, which is 2022. So if you guys don't know, we usually get some armor and then cut up the pieces into the individual sets. That's what we usually do if this is your first time here. So we do have the Hunter video. It's right here. You guys can check it out. We basically do what we're going to do in this video, which is making individual sets from each of the pieces. I will tell you guys that in one set, you will see two pieces just because uh, for Titans and Warlocks specifically, sometimes I just don't want to make a set with the bond or the mark. So that that's why I do it. So that way it's fair to the Warlocks and Titans. If you guys haven't seen the Mecha Armor review, then I'll have it up right now. Plus the shader video. We basically look at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the shadering. It's a little bit different because we just look at all of the shaders that I currently own on each of the armor sets for all the classes. So if you are interested to see how it shaders, definitely go check that video out. But I do appreciate you guys checking out my other content. Uh, other than that, let's just get into it. So to start off, this one is interesting in the sense that I probably would switch out the arms for something else. And I'll tell you guys which arms when we get to it. But to start, we're going to be using Mask of the Quiet one with the Thanatonauts Peril. I think this looks amazing with the kind of story that I'm trying to give with this set, which is this Titan has been deactivated for quite a while. That's a really nice way of saying he's been dead for a while. And the Descendant Vex Chrome gives that feeling so well because of the rust. But not only that, but the Thanatonos Peril has the, the right side has it fucked up, like literally like it's been punched. And for me, that story is more of a like he got hit in the head real hard to the or she I should say she got hit in the head real hard to the point where she actually just died there on spot and she's just been rusting up since forever and now she's back up and you can see the light like flickers and it's really, really cool for the arms hardened basilisk gauntlets is where we're using the mechanized protector plate for the chest piece lustrous chromite greaves for the boots and then the psionic strangler mark. I overall think this looks amazing. Um, if I were to switch a, a piece out, it would most likely be for the Moonfang X7 gauntlets, just because I feel like that would be a better choice. But at the same time, I still like the Hardened Basilisk gauntlets just because the Mask of the Quiet one has like those sharp bits on the ears and then on the helm on the horns itself. So it kind of makes sense to have arms that are sharp as well. Just kind of it goes with the flow. I would probably switch out this lustrous chromite for something a little bit more sharp for the boots. But overall, I think this is a really good starting point. As for the next one, we're going to be using the mechanized protector helm with the greaves as well. So for this one, it's pretty funny considering the I'm using the Moonfang X7 gauntlets for this one, and I don't hate it. I just think maybe I should have switched the Moonfang X7 gauntlets with the first one and then grabbed the first one's uh, basilisk arms for this set instead and then probably that would have been better but i still think this looks amazing let's look into what we're actually using so i've already said the helmet the arms and the boots for the chest piece we're going to be using hollow fire heart with the arcturus engine i think this looks really cool and then for the mark we're going to be using Tekian's regalia mark just because i think it looks really cool and for the shadering dreaming spectrum is what i'm using specifically because the moonfane x7 gauntlets take shaders differently, which is really annoying. So if you want to just combine all of the colors into one, you're definitely going to want Dreaming Spectrum. That's a really, really good one. There's other shaders out there. Um, specifically, Argent Territory is a good choice and Omnicronia is another good choice. But for me, Dreaming Spectrum was just the best choice just because I didn't want to think too much about it. And honestly, Dreaming Spectrum is my favorite shader in the game. As for the next set, we're going to be using Horfrost Z for this one. And I chose this one specifically because the mechanized protector gauntlets is heavy on the opposite side of the Horfrost Z, which you guys will see in the back. The Horfrost Z has a piece on the left side of the shoulder that goes out. And for me, I have never really liked that. So for me, I was just like, I'm going to combine it with a piece that's heavy on the other side so that way it can equal out. And I actually think this looks really cool for the helmet. Deep Explorer helm is what we're using for the boots forged machinist breeze is what we're using and then for the mark moonfang x7 so overall i actually think do think this looks really cool because the gold plates on the chest piece and arm look really cool and then with the forge machinist greaves it looks like well not looks there's actual gold underneath that so it kind of looks like it's like the plating is over the it looks like the gold has plating over 
over it, which is really cool. And overall, I do think this looks really cool. And the Deep Explore Helm, honestly, the only reason I combine it with this one is because the Horfra Z has some glow, like very minor glow. So that's why I'm using uh, the Deep Explorer Helm because it has just two pieces of glow on each of the sides of the face. So nothing too crazy to think about for this one. I do think this looks really cool and I would love to see more people do some Horfra Z fashion because it's surprisingly really cool. All of the all of the sets that I've made with it look really cool. Let me know what you guys think. And then last but not least, we're going to be using the Lion Ramparts with the Bellinus Boosters. This one is unfortunately like not my favorite. It's not bad by any means. It's just this set exists because of the mark. So let me explain what I mean by that. So the Mechanized Protector mark is massive. And I was really trying to make my Titan just as massive as I can because the mark is really big so therefore i needed big pieces to like not make it look weird so for the helmet wildwood helm is what i'm using in combination with braytech iron heart engine i love this i love this chest piece this chest piece is super super dope very titan-esque for me because the back is protected it looks super bulky and that's this is the chest piece that i think of when i think of a titan um lustrous chromite gauntlets i definitely think i could have used better gauntlets for this one not saying it looks terrible but to be fair, Braytech Ironheart takes arms really terribly. Uh, the mark, again, Mechanized Protector mark. And for the shader, we're using conti Continuum Alloy just because I like the shader. But overall, I will say this is the weakest set from the whole, from all the sets uh, from all the sets that I've shown you. Just because again, this set only exists because of Mechanized Protector mark because it's so massive. I use really bulky pieces. If it wasn't as bulky, I probably would lean into more Mecha theme because it, this doesn't scream mecha to me the scream is more like just a very bulky titan so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point i will be working on a bunch of stuff like i said in the hunter video but if you guys are interested to see any other stuff let me know in the comments below I'll definitely get started on it some exotic videos i'm working on as well so don't forget don't don't think i forgot about those i have not i'm just again working on a bunch of content I've, i'm also working on my second channel where I essentially play whatever I want. I'm currently working on the schedule for this month, but I know that I'm going to be doing Armored Core 6. I'm still going to continue that. I'm still going to continue Remnant 2. And Starfield is the one that I'm thinking about cutting. Not cutting, like not playing anymore, but actually just starting a new playthrough. But with this one, it'll have mods just because Starfield plays really terribly, at least on my system. And then I'm thinking of finally adding Ratchet and Clank rift apart and then starting death stranding so that way i can have it on the channel because if you guys don't know death stranding 2 got announced a while ago and it will most likely be coming out either next year or in 2025 so i want to have that in the channel so that way i can just have it because i love that game so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point be safe i will see you guys later